Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a form in Word based on an existing document or template. To do this, open a copy of the regular document or template to use as the basis for your form. Then enter the information you want to remain unchanging or static into the document. Then insert the form controls and fields into the form where you want the form's users to enter information. This is a convenient way to change a printed form into one within which people directly enter information. Using this method lets you create a customized form template that lets users simply fill in the blanks in the document form. Before creating custom forms in Word, ensure that the Developer tab is displayed in the ribbon. Then open the document or template to use as the basis for the form. Then click the Developer tab in the ribbon. Here you can take advantage of the controls in the Controls button group to insert various types of fields and controls that let users fill in the form's information. Before inserting form controls, first create the parts of the document that will remain static or unchanging. For example, if you are creating a survey form, you may want to create the underlying table into which you type the questions that the respondents will then answer. You then leave space in the document where you plan to insert the text boxes, check boxes, drop downs, and other types of controls you want the respondents to use when completing the survey. To insert a form control, click into the place in the document at which to insert the control. Then click the Type of Control to Insert from the listing in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon. Then select the control in the document. Then set its properties as desired by clicking the Properties button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon. Each type of form control has different properties you can change. You can also add text that helps the users complete the form. You will learn how to set the properties of several common form controls in the following lessons in this chapter. After adding all the controls to the form, you can then protect selected elements of the form from changes. You can also apply protection to the entire form if you prefer. This process is also covered in a separate lesson in this chapter. After applying any form protection you want, the only step left is to save the form as a template to distribute to other Word users. To save the document as a template, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save As command at the left side of the Backstage view. In the section to the right, select the This PC choice, and then click the Browse button to open the Save As dialog box. In the Save As dialog box, select either Word Template or Word Macro Enabled Template from the Save As Type dropdown as needed. Then type a name for the template into the File Name field. After setting the desired template options, click the Save button in the lower right corner of this dialog box to save the template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.